What's up, guys? My name is Top Secret R35, and welcome back to some Forza 6 for a special build where I take the first car that I ever had and recreate it into the dream version of it. So, here is a picture of my first ever car. This is a 1989 VW City Golf, they called it. Now, the one that Forza has, though, is the Rabbit version, which was marketed in the States. Uh, we never got that in South Africa. Ignore the 944. That's my dad's. My car is in the background over there. So, my car, it was very special. I mean, it's a, your first car, when you're a car guy, it's just, you know, you can't, you can't really describe it. I loved it so much. It gave me so much trouble. Like, you won't believe. Every month, I was fixing something on it, but I would never let it go. Unfortunately, I had to sell it before I came to live in the States. But anyway, let's get this build going. I'm going to show you guys what I wanted to do. Okay, so my car came from my gran. She owned it before I got my hands on it. And it was actually, I was lucky, it was the variation called the City Golf Sport. It had a 1600 four-cylinder carbureted engine and I believe it made just under 70 kilowatts. Now the version in Forza I believe is 1800 so ignore that power figure. You can see this one here is making 81 kilowatts. Still not sounding that great though. <laughs> but today, like I said, I'm going to show you guys what I had in mind and build that car. Now obviously I just never got around to it. The time came that I had to move to the States even though I did have the finances at the point. But I'm still young, I will do it. I will get that golf that I always wanted. So my plan was to always put a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine from a Golf 4, that same engine. And I always wanted the turbo and I wanted to have it track ready, battle ready. So the modifications that I did, <laughs> the only thing that I actually did was I put in, I changed the springs, not the whole coilovers, just the springs to make it look lower and more aggressive. It was, at least I did that and not just that. A lot of people like to uh, just cut the springs <laughs> or they <laughs> even just uh, heat the springs up and then compress them like that. So I put those on and then I put the stabilizer bars on between the front uh, oh, A-arms as such. And then I had a free flow exhaust in uh, quotes as such, uh, stainless steel exhaust put on. And then I had the wheels done and I did like a few aesthetic things like the D-badge grill, the clear headlights, whatever. So that was my modifications <laughs> as such. But I can tell you guys so many funny stories about it. I mean, the first time I ever picked my wife up for a date, I had to go into the car through the trunk, through the boot as such, <laughs> because the door handles were busted. So anyway, this is what I wanted to do. And then I also wanted to put like a little bit of a racing library on. Something similar to that. Jägermeister. Man, this looks so sweet. And then obviously I had the wheels done. And this car came standard with drum brakes at the back and then discs at the front. But obviously I wanted to put in some Brembo's or whatever. You know, those cost probably... Oh, I don't want to get into the amount those, those things cost. Okay, so here I am. On track now with my heavily modified golf. Let's hear this thing. Oh man, this is what I wanted. This would have been my dream. Oh, it still is my dream, or well, not even a dream anymore. This is a goal. I will get this car, I will modify it and get my front wheel drive little play toy for the track. I want one of these in my garage. And I want an E36 M3 in my garage, both ready for track days. Man, I love this thing. And it's weird, like, I know Forza is just a game. We all know that, oh, in the dirt. Yeah, I just practice anyway. Forza is just a game, right? But when I floor it, I can actually feel what my car would have felt like because uh, it's actually a front wheel drive car, so you don't have to worry about the oversteer. Look at that speedometer, look at that rev limiter. Just maxed out fully. <laughs> Okay guys, so at this point right here is when I started being serious now, I wanted to beat my lap times. I am going to check, I'll check where I stand in the world, but 
When it comes to fours or six, I mean, the guys are very serious. And with the front wheel drive car, Golf, I mean, I tuned it myself, not perfect. I wonder where I would stand. All right, so 129.04. I need to beat that on my next lap. Ah! Whoops, just a little accident there in the dirt. All right, so, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I also had an upgraded camshaft, a 272 degree camshaft in the car, so the idling was a bit rough. So those are like just the minor modifications I did make to the car. And that's what was so special to me, you know, that I did all that work myself with my dad. He helped me do most of that work. Okay, so that lap there, 126.76, I believe. And yes, uh, that's why you, you love your first car so much. You learn so much with it. I mean, the car started rusting badly, so I learned how to fiberglass, I learned how to body fill, you know, even though it looked terrible. But I learned how to do those things. Sort of did it right a little bit. Oh, running really wide there. Oh, damn it. Let's see what lap time I get here. So, yes, uh, that's why having your first car and doing most of the work yourself when the car has no value at all, pretty much. It's just such a special bond to you and your car and to the people around you who help you fix the things on your car. All right, so that's a 127.526. And this lap over here was my best lap in this whole time, even though I ran very wide on the start there. I sort of bring it back and fix it <laughs> in the rest of the lap. I had so much fun uh, doing this build, reminiscing on all the dreams that I had with my first golf. Ugh, it's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. Ah, the front wheel drive just pulls you so hard. You can feel, you can feel because you're sitting in the front of the car. The engine's in the front. Everything is on front. The back is just so loose. Every time you floor it, you can just feel how the car uh, straightens you out. So that's the one thing over the rear wheel drive. Because now the front wheels, they're doing the turning and they're doing the power delivery. So you can imagine how quickly the front wheels wear. And I'm on the simulation setting here as such. So on your first lap, when the tires are cold, it's just terrible. But then once they start warming up, then you're able to bite more in the corners. Ah, I just love it when you floor it and the rev limiter just bounces while the, uh, the wheels struggle for the traction. And you just let it off a bit, turn in, let it off, turn in, floor it again. And this here is my best lap of my little session here. I think I did about four sessions. 126.467 even with the terrible first corner so let's check where that result puts me in the world let's go to hardcore no traction control no abs oh my word <laughs> very much near the bottom guys damn this golf is not competitive and i am not that competitive i need to have a few more runs here so we got the alpha 33 to dial on top and a 115 and i'm there with a 127 oopsie all right guys there's just a little bit more insight to my life and my life with cars i miss my golf i'm gonna get it back watch this space hopefully soonish i hope you guys enjoyed this Forza 6 time attack build on my first car into my dream car. Leap like, hit subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. I feel good. You look good. You guys are amazing. Let's go.